Welcome to another episode of The Vegan Pulse. I am your host, Nancy Arenas. Today, my guest is Susan Hargreaves. Susan is a 41-year veteran of the animal rights movement. She is a kindness educator, author, speaker, and activist. She founded the youth empowering charity, Animal Hero Kids, to prevent the animal cruelty she has witnessed by fostering empathy and compassionate choices in youth. Stick around. I want to introduce her to you. Hi, Susan. How are you? Good morning from sunny Florida. So great to talk to you today. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to talk to you, too. As I told you, as I was telling you, I was just in Florida two weeks ago. So it was nice and sunny then, too. It's always sunny in Florida. Yes, you can always <laughs> depend on Florida for sun and the occasional hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Susan, can you tell me a little bit about how you came to veganism? Well, uh, in first of all, in 1980, I investigated the stockyards and the slaughterhouses in Toronto, and I saw a lot of cruelty there, and I went vegetarian. And um, then in 1985, somebody at a picnic said to me, it was a vegan picnic in South Florida. They said, um, do, you, do you want some tea? And I said, I'm English. I always take milk on my tea. And they said, you're still a milk baby? I said, well, I don't kill animals. And they said, you don't believe in killing animals. You just believe in abusing and exploiting them. And I thought, wow, this guy's obnoxious. And then as soon as I got in the car, that was it. As soon as I got along with my own thoughts, I thought, well, he does have a point. I have to discover more about how cows are treated in dairy farms. And if, if I don't have veal, then why would I have liquid veal, really? Right, no. L liquid meat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So that was it. That was in 1985. So, okay. And and now your project is Animal Hero Kids. Tell me about that and then you can tell me about that lovely van behind you, Veganza Animal. <laughs> well, um a Animal Hero Kids I founded to for my uh, education, kindness education in schools kindness to all species. So Animal Hero Kids Voices for the Voiceless is um, a book now that's about 300 pages that's being used as curriculum in schools. I can't, I've got a difficulty with my wrist right now, but you can sort of see it anyway, I'll do that. Yeah, I can see it. Uh -huh. And, uh, and the, uh, the idea is about kindness to all animals, fostering empathy and critical thinking and because the fact is most children want to be kind to all animals as so do humans i mean humans adults you know <laughs> and uh and people don't realize they're being cruel in what they choose to eat or wear or entertain themselves with and once they do the majority of people once they do realize it do change and what's testament to that fact is the changes I've seen in vegan products and people recognizing the word vegan since 1985 when I became vegan. So the Animal Hero Kids is to empower youth to, to make compassionate choices and actions, and we help them do that. And Be an Animal Hero is our project for all ages. And that's um, something I'm really, excited about and we've started animal hero tober this year where we're asking people to hashtag animal hero tober of different ways that you can help animals my purpose is to put animal hero and vegan in the same sentence again and again and again in the education programs in the animal hero books and uh, in our movies um veganza animal hero the uh, vegan superhero whose superpower is to foster empathy and to free scenes of cruelty and instill empathy in the perpetrators. And uh, Courage, the mermaid, is the first vegan uh, brown mermaid in print and literature. And uh, we are now um, 
doing a claymation, Beganza Animal Hero Claymation. And I'm thrilled about that. Awesome. It was, it, yes, it was over 20 years ago. I did a program at a Miami Beach preschool. And unbeknownst to me in the audience was a kindergartner who turned vegan. And his sister also went vegan in grade five because I also presented in her school. And he grew up to be a claymation filmmaker. And he's 23 or 24 now, and he's doing the Vegans Animal Hero Claymation. And, I, and it was a complete coincidence that I met him through his mom, who wanted to volunteer with Animal Hero Kids. That is so awesome. So I'm so excited about that. Because Courage, the mermaid, is being voiced by Felicia from the movie Friday. And um, Veganza is being voiced by Tara Strong. Uh, look her up. She's, she's the voice of so many different characters that people know. And um, Lori Allen is a lovey. And lovey is the narrator. Um, lovey is the little rescued poodley dog who goes with me to schools and does presentations. And I'm going to give you a recent news clip that shows Lovey and one of the presentations when I spoke to Rotary Clubs, because I'm really um, excited about morphing to all ages for being an animal hero. So I spoke with a lot, a lot of uh, elderly people <laughs> at, and I'm elderly, I'm 62. <laughs> so and I, I guess I might be elderly, I'm not sure. But the Palm Beach Rotary Club, um, and they were very open to considering going vegan and, you know, having me as a speaker and having a vegan lunch. So really, I think the world now is at a point where people are so much more open to considering going vegan. And uh, I am doing my very best to accelerate that with anyone I can come into contact with. Now, last year, we reached two million people. In our with our combined events, activities, virtual programs. Um, we even, it was the first year Connecticut School District used our Animal Hero Kids book, um, an e-version for Whoa. the curriculum. Yeah, and I, and I led the program in an after-school enrichment program. And we were competing with the 4-H club, which I really love the fact that we're giving an alternative and an option to children who like animals that live in the country or wherever they are. And the only thing they see to do is to join the 4-H club. And then right. they get a rude awakening when they have to kill their animals at the slaughter day, otherwise known as the fair day. So, so uh, animalherokids.org, we're always looking for volunteers and we are all volunteer and we have a very tiny budget I, th I think it went out there for a minute. No, there Sorry. you are. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> so we are always looking for volunteers. And I, I neglected to say I'm writing a Veganza Animal Hero teen version. And we have, for that, we have a new animal hero. Would you like to meet that new animal hero? I would love to. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to go behind the Veganza Vanza and see if you can him can you see him where is he where is he he's he's there on the back of the van can you see him i don't know <laughs> a little, a, it's a, a little there blurry he... okay it's probably because we're going away from wi-fi okay i'll send you i'll send you a picture so you can insert it here okay <laughs> so that that is uh, that is uh, freedom are, are one of our new animal heroes who can who can harness the power of wind and the sky oh, to cool. rescue other animals. Yes, and he is uh, fashioned after Corinne Sutton, who is a vegan bodybuilder and is a, one of the volunteers who helps us with our Animal Hero Kids programs. So okay. I'll send you a picture of him. He's a wonderful fellow. Okay. And is, yeah, so... And Go ahead. Sorry. I was just going to say, if I could see your face a little bit better, that would be great. Oh, sorry. There you are. There you are. I just want to see your lovely face. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> yes. Yeah, thank you. Oh, and thank you. 
thank you for all the work that you're doing with the kids. I think that's very important. We are actually the only organization that goes into elementary schools with beautiful costumed characters that I customize the programs to whatever age group or grade group or level of interest. And um, one of them is Ronnie B. Cow, who's, who is a huge uh, costume character. I'll send you some pictures. And uh, it's great because now I say, Ronnie V. Cow, does anyone know what the letter V stands for? And in uh, a school in Palm Beach, uh, a private school, one of the fourth graders said vodka. And I said, uh, no, not vodka. <laughs> Keep going. And now they generally say vegan or vegetarian. And that's, that's a step forward because before, of course, nobody even knew what that word meant. But now right. these elementary school students, they know because their aunt, their uncle, their teacher, somebody is vegan. Yes. So, yes. so this, uh, this is a wonderful way to reach children with the kind to all message. And they are mostly already kind. When they hear the animal rescue stories from the Animal Hero Kids books, they clap and cheer at the happy ending part no matter what species of animal has just been rescued. Yeah, and kids love animals. We take their compassionate, compassion from animals from them and that is really cruel for us to do. I mean, we, don't, we might not do it intentionally, but now we know better and we're aware. So, you know, it'd be nice if we move forward and remove that from our day-to-day -day teaching our kids, you know, to disengage from their compassion and love for animals. And think about it, when uh, the kids now, today, want to go and do a school field trip, they go to the Miami Sea Aquarium, Sea World, zoos, circuses, even Fairlife, which has a so-called, you know, farm where the, the kids meet the animals and those animals are confined and they explain how it's better for the baby cow to be separated from the mother. <laughs> and what alternative do we have? Do we have an animal hero world for them to go to? No, we don't. So I'm 62. I've been doing this for over 40, 41 years. And one of my dreams is to create an animal hero world, uh, to do an, an alternative to the Miami Sea Aquariums, the zoos and the circuses. So Definitely. And that's why um, I do publish a... Um, Kids Magazine, One, Two Vegan Kids, for the same reason, because that way they have somewhere they could turn to, to look at other kids. You know, we highlight kids who do, uh, who are vegan, who are advocating for veganism and stuff like that. And of course, we're gonna include about your animal uh, hero kids uh, on our next issue as well. So people can know, kids can know where to turn to for more support. Yes, thank you. We do unite and empower. So if you go to animalherokids.org and go on the Animal Hero Crew page, you'll see the uh, lots of kids from all around the world that have joined and teens. And that's another reason we're morphing into being an animal hero as a name because the teens don't want to be thought of as kids once they get to be 12 years old. Right. And uh, so that's really helpful. So um, we have, we have uh, uh, kids and teens of all ages who are so happy. They may be isolated. They may be teased in their school. And we just did a workshop that I'll be releasing soon, the video, where they discuss how to deal with bullying or teasing. And, and uh, it's really valuable to the, those kids. It's really priceless. So what we do really is uh, empower unite, educate, and then we leave the resources behind in every school we go to, the Animal Hero Kids Voices for the Voiceless book and Began's Animal Hero, which also has vegan recipes in it. And then we also give out vegan food. I love to do vegan hero sandwiches. Tofurkey has been very generous and so has Beyond Meat, uh, Beyond Burgers, Mm -hmm. uh, help with, with summer camps. So we also give out vegan food at any, any option. It's all positive. It's positive 
proactive, inspiring, heartwarming, because I believe, even after I've seen so much cruelty firsthand, I believe that people don't want to be cruel to animals. And once they realize that their actions are causing and funding cruelty, they, they do stop. Once your conscience, I was there once, my conscience was forced on me by, by a rude comment where people say, oh, don't be so direct. Well, it worked for me. <laughs> right. I believe that too. I believe that people are kind, are loving and compassionate, and just society and our family has um, taught them, you know, through the ages, this uh, fallacy that we have to eat animal flesh and that once they realize that that's not true and how we've been manipulated, that most awaken to the fact that, hey, you know what? I, I, I now understand that and make the connection. So I understand. So thank so. you very much for being on our show. And um, like I said, I will have information about your uh, projects on our website. And um, again, thank you for joining us from sunny Florida. Wait a second, hold there on. You are. Are. <laughs> thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you very, very much for having, uh, having me on your show and all the work that you do to help other animals. Uh, we're all united. We're all on the same side. We all have the same goals and it's working. So keep up, uh, keep up the pressure on your side and uh, watchers, please get involved with Animal Hero Kids and be an animal hero. Go to animalherokids.org and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And we're always looking for volunteers, always. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you for joining us on another Vegan Pulse. Remember to like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out our website. If you have a pulse, you have a purpose. The Vegan 